I saw that we had a problem in the cath lab as far as uh, preventing uh, kidney issues with our patients. I knew we had the uh, CVI machine in the lab and I saw a solution. I wanted to bring CVI to the cath lab uh, to protect our patients and their kidneys. Dr. Arreyes has an initiative to protect and uh, prevent any kidney issues from dye usage. Um, and we've had a, the CVI for uh, a while, but we, we didn't utilize it. So the question came because we've been having issues with the contrast delivery. Especially we serve a population with a very prevalent chronic kidney disease and patients who are on the borderline of being in the stage to need dialysis. So we need to come up with an intervention that help us save contrast to avoid putting these patients in dialysis or worsening the kidney function. So that's why we reach out to assist which uh, to reestablish and reinitiate the, the training for the staff and to reuse the machine again in the, in the system. Uh, we are in a day and age where the technicians are short, nurses are short, there's a lot of turnover in each lab. So we would like to have consistency and efficiency so provider comes and do their cases and move on their day. We have a total of uh, 18 and sometimes 20 interventional cardiologists. So we have diverse uh, practices and they have different schedules. So we want to make sure when the physician is there, the team is ready for them to do the case. We would like to standardize the care for patients, number one, and also for providers. And the change always comes with challenges. Uh, but the easy thing from the CDI is that it's easy to understand, easy to set up, and easy to use. From being off to being in use, there's a step-by-step -step guide on the monitor that'll show you how to use it and what to do every step of the way. There's no guessing involved. It's the same way every single time. Training people is really easy because the monitor tells you what to do. It's very, it just follow the prompts. I think the CVI is second to none. The manifold is manual, you know, manual strength there. Uh, and that's, it's very hard to get a good image. The CVI is very proficient in getting a great images with just one shot. You just literally plug it into the catheter, pull back and shoot away. I can set it up ahead of time for the next procedure without worrying about it. And I can do multiple procedures on the same syringe, which is a lot easier than just switching it out every single time. So when you turn the room, you should be, should be less than 20 minutes. We were not hitting that metric before CVI. Now with CVI, because you are avoiding setting up a new manifold, which is at least take five minutes, you are saving that time, and two, you are saving contrast. For a busy lab, this is every minute count. We can go from procedure to procedure seamlessly. The faster we do a case, the more cases we can do, and the, you know, the more patients we can save. If we're in a busy situation where I can't check the contrast continuously, I mean, the injector holds all of it. I can put up to 100 cc's in that thing. The manifold, however, I have to continuously watch for bubbles in the line. I, I like to standardize everything. I think CVI getting that uh, in all the labs will help standardize the procedure. I would like the team to be eventually just CVIs in, in the room. We can just go on with the case and it's just like um, second nature. When patient comes with STEMI, his time is muscle. So we have to get to the heart as soon as possible. So at the beginning, we know that some operators were shy from the CVI because it's going to take longer and that's going to push what's called door to balloon time. But we noticed that on the other hand, it's saving minutes to get the setup ready from the staff because they are fully trained, morning shift and night shift as well because we have 24 hour uh, uh, techs and nurses and get to the patient sooner, get the angiogram done and the PCI fast. So this is not only helping efficacy, but also decreasing door to balloon time for STEMI. Now we have uh, CVI in two of our labs uh, connected to the table uh, where we utilize CVI on almost every procedure and it shows the numbers that we're you're saving our, our, our patients' kidneys. There's a lot of uh, metrics right now and governing bodies for the CAT labs kind of uh, give us guidelines of best practices and they call this under the umbrella of KPI or Key Performance Indicators. One of the most important one is contrast-induced nephropathy or contrast and nephropathy, nephropathy leading to end stage and dialysis, and also contrast volume per case. These are three metrics are related to the contrast exposure in the lab. 
This is put force on the cat lab directors and the staff to improve our practice and find new innovative way and to lower the volume. And one of the things we're privileged to have the CVI is Number one, we lower the contrast volume and also efficacy. And number two is not too much of waste. And three, as I mentioned earlier about the teaching, uh, you don't have the heterogeneity in injections and streaming. So you are getting one shot that is opacified. Your guide is engaged, your catheter is engaged. It's gonna promise you only good angiogram. Our metric has to improve in some way, and definitely with the CVI, our contrast volume went down, and soon enough we'll have a better value in terms of contrast use for each patient and also at the rate of CIN in our lab. There's chances of uh, contrast shortages, so we, we save money and we save the, the dye usage. So in case there's a, a dye shortage, we have enough to, to take care of our patients and do the procedures. After COVID, we have contrast usage and contrast became very unique. And certain labs were running out of contrast. So not only the value of, how they were ready to pay whatever amount of money to get the contrast, which is counterintuitive, but now, now we have the contrast, why we are, doesn't mean that we have to use more. So not only the, the CVI and the system helps us minimize the waste, which is a very important thing, uh, to the amount of delivery to, this, to, this, to the patients, uh, but also uh, you, we, we did some very prelim analysis in terms of how much amount of dollars we saved and definitely is in favor. We are saving money by this one-time purchase of the uh, CVI system itself. I want CVI in the cath lab so my patients uh, can be uh, protected. Um, we can uh, save money on the contrast. Um, it's proficient uh, in during the procedure. It's easy to use. And most importantly, it's good patient care.